Let's compare the VLOOKUP function and the index match combination so that we can see how index and match have some strengths over VLOOKUP. First, I'm going to type the VLOOKUP function, and my lookup value in this case is going to be the company ticker in the leftmost column of my data table. The table array is going to be up here, B3 to E9, and then my column index number is going to be a reference to cell C12 right here. I want that to give me an exact match, so I'm going to put zero and then close, and you'll see that this is correctly giving me the data that I want. I can change my company to Exxon Mobil, and it'll tell me that that's in the energy industry. Or I can change my column to column number four and get the company's revenue. So obviously, VLOOKUP does the trick here. Moving down below, let's create the same thing using index and match. So I'm going to call the index function. The array is going to be my whole table up here. And now I'm going to use the match function to get my row number. I want to find which row is the company that I'm looking for in. So I'm going to type match. My lookup value is this cell right here, which is now Walmart. And then my lookup array is going to be the column with my company tickers. The match type that I want is exact, so I'm going to put a zero and then close that. Now I'm going to just refer to the column number that I have here in C16. I'm going to close my parentheses and hit enter. So that gives me that Walmart is in the retail industry, exactly the same as above. I could even copy and paste this right here and it'll give me the same answer. So at the moment, this has exactly the same functionality, but you'll notice that I also have this data feature row right here. I'm gonna use this data feature row to remove the need to type the column number. If I go into my index function, I'm going to replace the reference to my column number right here with another match function. The value that I'm going to look up is the data feature that I want in my table, which in this case is the industry. And the lookup array is going to be this row containing all of my different data features. My match type is going to be exact, so zero, close that, and then close my index function. And you'll see that I can actually go up here and I can remove that column number. And now I can actually type in the ticker of the company, so like BP, and then I can also type in the name of the data feature, like revenue. So in this way, I'm not having to pass a column number. So for the user, if you're giving this to somebody else, it has a little bit more meaning. They're not having to count columns. They can just type in exactly what they want. Now you can accomplish this same thing. So let's go to BP and we want to go to revenue, which we're already on. So we're getting at the same number, but one example where index match is so much more robust than VLOOKUP is when you're removing pieces of your data array. So in this example, let's say that we want to get rid of this industry column. If I control minus, you'll notice that now the VLOOKUP column has broken because the number of columns has changed. So that column number four no longer has the same meaning. On the other hand, the index match function is looking every time to see where the column is. The match function is looking for revenue in this first row. And so even though revenue has now changed from column number four to column number three, it's still able to identify that. And now it just passes the index function a three instead of a four. So it doesn't break when you remove rows and columns. Additionally, one limitation of the VLOOKUP function is that you're not able to look for data left of the value that you're looking up. So for example, let's say that we wanna look for the company name. I'm just gonna type out British Petroleum instead of the ticker. For the VLOOKUP function to work now, I'm going to give it British Petroleum as my lookup value, but then the table array can only contain this part of my table. I can't include column B because if I do, then it'll be looking for the words British Petroleum in column B, and it's not there. VLOOKUP can only look for values in the leftmost column of your array. So in this case, if I want to get my revenue, I can give it column number three now. Tell it I want an exact match. And that'll work for revenue. But if I want to look up the ticker, can I go in here and say column minus one to go to the left? That doesn't work. But this is an easy fix with the index match function. Index match lets you specify your data array. So in this case, it's my entire table. But the match function lets you choose which row and which column you want to look in for your lookup value. So if I want to change my lookup value to the name of the company, then all I have to do is change this B3 to B9 to C3 and C9. And now you'll see that I'm looking through the company column, that second column in my data. When I hit enter, this is not going to work because the ticker BP is not in that column. But if I go in and change that to British Petroleum, 
now it works. And it's not a limitation that the ticker is to the left. If I want to find the ticker, all I do is search for the ticker and Excel has no problem bringing that back to me. So not only is index match more robust when you're adding and removing rows and columns, but it's also more flexible in the data that you can access. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, my mind is blown. 